All right, hello, my fifth grade artists. We are gonna keep working on our radial symmetry relief sculpture today. So the last video, I asked you to start thinking about your color family group. I hope you have that picked out. I didn't hear from either one of you about getting origami paper from me, so hopefully you figured out how to get that and you practice your folds. Remember, we're using three different types of folds, the hat fold, the kite fold, and then the samurai fold. And you're gonna take at least two of these folds and create a design. So hopefully last week you got to practice folding different pieces of paper and practice those folds. So now we have to put it all together and create a radial symmetrical design. And what that means is it shows symmetry or the same thing happens around a center point going in a circle. So You'll need a black square piece of paper or any dark color that contrasts with your color family group. We are using a 12 inch black square paper at school. And again, if you would like to pick up supplies at school, I'm happy to give you the supplies. I just need to know what color family you're using and I'll set it up for you to get to you as soon as you're able to come get it. So once you have your black or whatever neutral color background square, I want you to fold it in half lengthwise like a hot dog, but we, we're in fifth grade, so we'll call it lengthwise. Then open that back up and fold it in half the other way too. So a hamburger, I guess if you wanna call it. Make sure your corners are lined up. It's really important that we have it all neat and then we're gonna do another good crease. So you've basically taken your piece of paper and fold it into quarters. So when you fold it all the way, you have a small square. So really make sure those creases are good and open it up. It doesn't matter if the crease is face down or up, that is your personal opinion. We are gonna use these creases as guidelines because these show quadrants. So we know everything we do needs to start and come out of that center point. And that center point is already for us. Use these horizontal and vertical lines to help you line up your stuff. So what we did in class today is we started taking all our little pieces that we started making and started putting them together in really interesting ways. I showed them some examples from past students and some things I found online for inspiration, but most of the time, they, after they were folding last time, they really started putting things together. So I did a couple things. You can mix up your colors, your color family, and you can create a pattern, but the thing is the pattern has to be the same going around the circle. So I had some friends in the other class that finished today kind of goof the color pattern up. So make sure whatever you do is the same thing going all the way around. So if you do blue, orange, blue here, it needs to be it over here and all the way around. Hopefully that makes sense. So this is what I was kind of playing around with today. I took, and actually Lucas inspired me. I took my hat fold and my samurai fold and I kind of put them together to create a new kind of fold. And I kind of really like the way that looks. So then you'll start by lining things up on your center point and you wanna create some sort of pattern or design from that. So I gotta watch my color patterns and that's okay because it's showing me a color pattern and it has some height. I like that and so you can build off of that. So you can keep adding different things, decide maybe I wanna put a kite fold here and tuck it down to give more of a radial thing. So you'll keep building it, but you wanna make sure whatever happens, you're creating a whole spike. So you'll create your design, and I want you to take a picture of that for me. So before you glue anything down, I want you to really design it and show me that picture. It should kind of fill your space. So sometimes what happens is, I don't have enough colors here, but we end up with something that has a lot of empty space on these sides. So then you could go ahead and add some elements coming out on those rays too. So the same quadrants happening over and over again, if that makes sense. I'll send some pictures. So you can do it this way and kind of build your thing and kind of play that way and get your design the way you like. Remember we're using color families because we're really focusing on that element of art color and the color wheel right now. That's one way. So when you get your design the way you want, it's all four quadrants. It has radial symmetry. Take a picture and upload it to this assignment. And then I will tell you how we're gonna glue it for next week. Cause I don't think your class will get all the way to be finished this week on tomorrow. So I want you to just get the idea down, fold all the things you need, 
and take that picture. So I know if I want to repeat this, I have to fold a couple more kite folds and a few more of these blue folds. So that works. Something else some of your friends did, and I borrowed this from Brody in the class today. He had extra. He decided he liked the way something like this looked. So he then decided to line it up on the quadrants and he built four for each line and then he built four more to go out the angles. So he had a really cool design that's coming out kind of like this. There's so many different variations you can do and he just kept building it so you can get like two per thing the math works when we have it these dimensions. So what I want you today is get used to the folding, have that color family picked out and start playing around with your design. I will give you a link. You can look up some different radial relief sculptures that another teacher has done. I will send you some pictures of past fifth graders that did a couple years ago. I can even show you what some of your 5B friends did just to get inspiration, not to copy, but just to get inspired by. So be fun, or not be fun, have fun, get creative. And if you have any questions, please let me know if you need any paper at all, or you need some black paper, email me the color family or respond to this project. Tell me what color family you want, and I will definitely put that in. So this color family would be uh, monochromatic. It's all blues and different values. And the one I was playing around with to show you originally is your complementary because it's the opposite. It's on the color wheel. There's blues and oranges. The minimum colors you can use is two because um, it's the smallest we have. But there's so many choices. So I hope you have fun creating your sculptures, your radial relief sculpture. And I can't wait to see what you're doing. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to walk you through any step you're confused about. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.